everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna hold up this bag. <laughs> we did a, we did a uh, Aldi Instacart delivery. We've got a huge amount of food. We have unpacked everything and hand sanitized. And actually I probably need to hand sanitize again because I just lifted up the bag. Baby, can you grab me the back of the hand sanitizer, please? Um, where did you put it? Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. hey, I forgot where I put it. Just give me a squirt. Um, thank you. So we unpacked everything and there's a ton of stuff. If you're interested, we got our stimmy money, which is really great because I, as you know, I haven't been posting as much as I used to and the money isn't really there, but I don't complain about it. That's my own doing. My mental health needs a break. Um, so I'm so grateful that we were able to like stock our fridge uh, and freezer. And today is St. Patrick's Day. I don't know when you'll watch this, but today is St. Patrick's Day. And I was so grateful that Top of the morning, we, we got enough money to buy corned beef and carrot. Sorry, I did that. I dragged yeah, that yeah, down yeah. the floor. Yeah. So I just bought two of two flat briskets. Um, if you if you don't like it, that's okay. Um, corn beef is something we have at my house. It's not traditional Ireland food, but it is a traditional Irish American food because I've heard many different reasons why, but the reason that I was taught why was that beef was very expensive when the immigrants came here. So they took, beef was a lot cheaper when they came here. So they took like the beef and they did all of the different processes, how they would cook food. And that became American traditional Irish, whatever. Um, we also got cabbages. I got two of them. They're really pretty. I'm actually going to, um, I found this like, I wanna do saute cabbage and bacon. Um, we actually have a half a head of cabbage that I'm probably going to. You don't have to do that right now, honey. I don't even know where it is. Okay. You don't have to do that right now though. Okay. okay. We uh, have a traditional, um, not a traditional, I'm sorry. We have, there's a, a bacon, saute bacon and cabbage dish that I really wanna try. So I got one of them. And then we use cabbage, I use cabbage a lot. We do egg roll in a bowl. It it holds up really well in the refrigerator, which is another reason why it's nice to get it. Um, if you're from, if you're living in New York or someplace where they have a large Irish community, cabbage and corned beef are really cheap right now. They're not cheap here. They're not, not, not at all. Um, <laughs> let me just tell you that. Um, the corned beef was two ninety nine a pound. Um, the cabbage was its regular price of like a dollar eight what i don't know two dollars and something uh, a head um but usually around st patrick's day in uh other parts of the country they have huge sales on corned beef and cabbage all right so let me get into it let's go to the frozen foods really quick the ones that are going to go in the big freezer we picked up one of their brats i really like them we bought them last time to try mom usually likes just the great value brand um but we tried these last time from Aldi and they were really good. Um, I picked up some boneless, skinless chicken tenders. Uh, when I do my cut up my chicken, there is, I do save the tenders separately, but I do a lot of like keto instant pot meals. And um, this is just a nice, easy way. They're already flesh frozen. I can just separate them. Um, they'll like, that's how big they take up in the room, in the refrigerator, um, and they're already tenders and they were really close. The, the chicken at, at Aldi is $1.89 a pound. Those came to two twenty something for just the tenders, which I thought was pretty good. I picked up a pound of ground turkey meat. This is, um, 85% lean in the tube just to do like, whatever, like egg roll in a bowl with turkey is pretty good too, but just for recipes. Um, we also picked up our favorite uh, bacon wrapped fillets. Um, these are from Cattleman's. We have these probably once every other week. Um, Mom really likes them. They're really, um, like pretty much everybody really likes them, but um, they're definitely something that we, um, it's more of expensive cut of meat, but it's something we do like every other week, so. And then I picked up a package of chicken breasts. This is boneless, skinless chicken breast. I really like this value pack. I think it's $1.89 a pound. I have my glasses ready today. Yeah, $1.89 a pound they are. So um, this big pack is cheaper than it is at Walmart by 10 cents a pound. Um, and I will take this and break it up into family cooking dinner portions. Um, 
The other meat I got was a roll of pork sausage. Again, uh, the pork sausage, there's a lot of different keto recipes I love to make with pork sausage, but I'm really loving the pork sausage and cream cheese. Um, we also do um, like uh, the uh, queso, maybe with the ground turkey. So yeah, just, you know. in the fridge, if you can, hon. Um, and then the last thing that I was so excited, first of all, I was so excited if you're, if, I don't know, if, if Margaret's watching this, Margaret, thank you so much. Margaret did such a great job shopping for me. Um, if you guys are interested in trying Instacart, they have like unlimited, like $9.99 a month, you get unlimited deliveries. Um, so there, that's in, I have a link to that in the description box down below, like a referral code. Um, they had my keto ice creams, so I got one of each. They had the peanut butter fudge, the cookie dough, and the mint chocolate chip. Um, thank you, Jim. Um, Jim went to buy them for me last time and they didn't have any. He bought like this other kind, which had more carbs, but still was very low, like pretty low in carbs, but a lot more carbs than that. So I was grateful to see that that was back in stock. We picked up four of our favorite breakfast sausage. We just keep these in the freezer. If you've been around a while, you know all the meal preps we do and all the planning and, and having limitations, having stuff like that, just ready to go in the microwave. It's the way to go. We picked up two, what we like to call cooking butters. We picked up two pounds of just regular salted butter. We, my family loves the Kerrygold. I know that it's like a treat for a lot of people because it's sort of expensive. It's very expensive actually. It's t more than twice the price of this because that is only equivalent to a half a pound of butter when you get it and it's like 349. This is like 309 for a pound. Um, but, we like, I use this when I cook, um, not so much like, and when I bake, but not so much like the good butter, the good butter we save for like toppings and, and stuff like that. We also picked up three of the chicken corn on blues. These are just a family favorite, quick and easy meal. It's not quick. You have to bake it for almost an hour, but it's one of those, like we forgot to take something out of the freezer. So you don't need a, a regular butter? In there? No, there's one in there. Okay. We, when we forget to take something out, we can just pop these in frozen. So that's why we like them. Now to the refrigerator. Picked up a gallon of my favorite milk. I told you guys a million times before, I love cow's milk. I love milk. I was gonna call myself a milk whore, but that's what I've called myself in the past. Um, I hate to use that word, but that's truly the way it is. I am a connoisseur of milk. Um, and when I moved here from New York, it was, uh, a play a guessing game or a trial and error game of who's got milk that I could tolerate because the milk always like a lot of brands tasted sour to me and I was like nope mm -mm. Uh, we also picked up two dozen of our favorite eggs these are golden hens uh large eggs repeat purchase on the major on the on the majority <laughs> I picked up four blocks of cream cheese when you do keto cooking and baking you use a lot of cream cheese I haven't had cream cheese in a bit. Um, again, we've been on a budget recently, but I'm grateful to have this back in my stocks. All of these in the refrigerator, don't forget that cream cheese, frozen cream cheese doesn't really, that should be okay. I didn't know there was so yeah, much I left. Just... You said there was a quart. That's more than a half a gallon, it looks like. Oh. I it says the 15th? Jenga. Does it say the 15th? Yeah. Okay. You gotta play Django with some of this stuff, that's all. Okay. Tonight I'm picking up uh, pudding, so I can, uh, I'll can. i take four cups of that and I'll make the mousse. Okay. I mousse. picked up a- I didn't know we were going to Canada. I picked up a block of Colby Jack cheese. I could use this in me, you know, in meal prep or whatever, or just slicing and eating on a charcuterie board. Um, a charcuterie. Um, but I love this cheese. It's like $1.89 for eight ounces. It's really good price and everything. Um, picked up a pint, a quart of half and half, because apparently I don't know the difference between a pint and a quart. This is full fat half and half when you're doing keto or you're a diabetic. You really shouldn't have fat-free dairy products because they do have more sugar in them. Um, and then two of the sugar-free French vanilla creamers, um, which is good because I'm just about out of creamer. So that came at the perfect time. And then Jimmy wanted his vanilla caramel. I really wish he would stick to the sugar-free but he's trying, he's trying. He's reduced the amount of soda he takes and I'm trying to be patient with him. He's drinking much more water, which is good. 
but um, if you could just keep going with the progress, I would appreciate it. <laughs> but this is vanilla caramel, and you gave this big props last time, right? What? You gave this big props last time, right? Okay. Um. All of this is done. Mm-hmm. Bottom drawer for the creamers? That's full of cabbage and lettuce. Well, did you take the cabbage out for today? No. One and a half heads. Okay. The oh, half and the smallest of the two cabbages. And do I need to meal prep that lettuce? Do I have to? Okay. The bad part about um, having money to fill a refrigerator is sometimes you don't have room in the refrigerator. There are worse things in the world, I'll tell you. Um, that cabbage might not be good. Let me see. Might have to turn it down, but turn brown oh yeah no that's fine i'll just okay. cut that cut the end off that's no, fine it's, it's just because it's cut so it oxidizes on the end when you cut it that's why they tell you to like not cut it they tell you to rip it but i ain't got time for that i found this salad kit it's a sweet kale chopped salad kit i totally love chopped salads and i like kale in my salad and i don't know what else is in here I probably won't use the dressing that comes with it. Um, let me just read real quick. It says, cabbage, kale, and carrots, dried cranberries, tangy citrus dressing, sunflower seeds. So I won't use the cranberries and I won't use the dressing. The dressing has the whole bag already made. The dressing has, the dressing and the cranberries have 74 grams of carbohydrates. So I won't be using that. But um, I knew I wasn't going to anyway. Um, but I just thought this would be really nice, uh, really nice treat. Um, I like kale. It's got a lot of cabbage in it, which I wasn't really sure that it had so much cabbage in it. Um, but from looking at it, it does have a lot of cabbage in it. Um, but again, this is my first time trying it. Um, best if used by March 26th. So we got about a week. Oh, more than a week, actually. Um, picked up some more green onions. Um, if you guys don't use green onions as fast as... I use green onions or actually I don't use green onions fast all the time either. You don't have to keep running to the refrigerator. It's really not good for the refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Have a seat. <laughs> I'm going to pull up your chair and sit next to me and you can talk to the people. Just sit right there. Okay. Get a drink. <laughs> he, I, I've, I've tried for a million years to say like work smarter, not harder, but he just doesn't respond that way. So he just has to keep going and it's really not good for the refrigerator for you to open it so many times. That's really what I was saying. But anyway, I take my green onions, which are upside down, which I didn't realize they packed them like that. And whatever I don't use, I cut and separate in plastic bags with the whites, with the greens, and I can freeze them. You can freeze green onions and you can use them frozen. Um, I also got Hearts of Romaine. This is the triple pack of Hearts of Romaine. Um, the make fantastic salads. They're just like one level up above like iceberg as far as nutrition value is concerned, but it's my family can tolerate it. So <laughs> we picked up both kinds of mushrooms today and I'm glad she picked up really nice mushrooms. Um, I got my baby Bella's. I love these just everywhere. Sauteed in a, in a casserole. I'll put them in my no bake lasagna. I mean, I don't make my keto lasagna or crustless pizza recipe. Um, I just love, I love, love, love them. And then white button mushrooms. These are um, what we usually have with steak. So that's that's part of like how that always goes. Picked up a, oh, that's so pretty. Look at these strawberries. Oh, I just want to eat them right now. She picked up a pint of strawberries. Nope, nope, this is a quart, isn't it? Yeah, it's a quart. Nope, yeah, it's a quart. Nope, nope, it's a pint. Yeah, it's a pint of strawberries. <laughs> Remember when pints used to be like square? Half those were, I guess. I don't know. But this is a pint of strawberries. Um, they look so good. Oh my goodness. Look at the don't you just want to like dig into them right now? Totally have to wash them. Oh, that one's got a little bit of mold on it, so I guess I will wash them right now. That stinks. That's stinky winky. At least I think that's mold. That's what it looks like. But the rest of them all look good. So we'll clean those. Um then I got both kinds of peppers. I got my three green and reds and yellows. The reds and yellows are usually, um, like I mix them with greens. That's just the way my dad always cooked. Um, what I'll usually do is it'll be like one whole one of these and then like half and half. 
So one day, obviously, it's not going to be. It's going to be just one red, one green. But anyway, I digress. Got a spaghetti squash because it's another alternative, another good alternative to low carb noodles. I have my zoodle maker. I have zucchini coming in the grocery pickup tonight. Yes, we're going to have more groceries. Where are we going to put them? We'll figure it out. Um, but I wanted to get this to maybe, maybe make some peppers and onion, sausage and pepper pasta, um, keto version. And then the last thing that I see, actually second to last thing, because here's the um, red onions. This is a two, three pound bag. I think it's a three pound bag. Hold on. It might be two. Yeah, two pounds of red onions. You only get four red onions in there, but you know, or red purple onions as Tabitha Brown calls them. And the last thing I got was a head of fresh cauliflower. Now I am a big advocate of frozen is fresher than fresh. Listen to me while I tell you this. There is a nutrition that happens in raw vegetables that doesn't happen in frozen vegetables. However, when they go to freeze vegetables, they're like farm to freezer. When you get vegetables that are fresh, they're usually farm to warehouse, well, farm to packaging, to warehouse, to back room, to delivery truck, to back room. To, so I'm saying by the time you actually purchase it, how fresh is it? When was it picked? As opposed to when it's frozen, they pick it, they blanch it, and then they freeze it right away. So that's normally how it happens. Um, but um, this was a recipe for potato salad um low carb state of mind on instagram and on tiktok she's amazing and it looked so good it was like potato salad with bacon and stuff and i was like oh i can't wait so i got that to try that that's it oh no that's not it that's all from the refrigerator or grocery uh, uh um um uh -huh. hon, cold stuff cold stuff so we picked up some grocery oh. items um if you bring me my basket, I will take care of these bars too. Um, again, because it's stock up time, I don't know when we'll have big money again. Feast um, the famine to feast again. <laughs> that's okay. Yep. Um, we went and got some things that, well, some things we are on a regular shopping list and some things that we like, we really love and we haven't been able to buy for a long time because of budget. But this is one of those regular stock items. This is the no stir peanut butter, natural peanut butter. It's really the lowest sugar one that they sell at Aldi. Um, I do love the Jiffy natural with nuts. I am getting that in the grocery pickup tonight. This I use for snacking. I don't, I mean, I also bake with it, but this is literally like I snack this. Um, it's sort of like I am not eating candy and I'm not eating cakes. This gives me that sweetness, but also like, palatable and saltiness. I like the crunchy better because I don't eat quite as much in one sitting because I chew it and it takes longer to eat. So, but this I picked up, they don't sell the natural crunchy at Aldi. So got that. They had the everything but the bagel seasoning. Yay. My sisters bought me two bottles from Trader Joe's uh, last year and then sent me another one and they're all gone because they go on just like everything. Jimmy loves it. We put it in eggs. We put it on toast like what do we not put everything with the bagel seed we put it in our um egg roll in a bowl sometimes because it's really literally sesame seeds salt dried onion dried garlic poppy seeds and that's it um if you don't have a bagel shop near you or you're not familiar um everything bagels are literally were designed because the bagels go on these wire racks so that air can flow. And then whatever the seasonings fell to the bottom, they would scoop them up and they would put them on the everything but the bagel seasonings basically. So, and then it became a thing. Um, needed yellow mustard. I can't tell you how long I've been without yellow mustard. And I keep going like, can't we just, get, I keep forgetting to buy it. So just just my Berman's yellow mustard, cheap, easy. I don't know why I only bought one. I've been out of sauerkraut for so long and I've been jonesing it for so long. Um, I really am surprised I only bought one. This is a great keto thing. Not only is it um, uh, no carbs, but it's got that good um, probiotic digestive stuff that helps out a lot. So 
Okay. Yep, they come to okay. get you. Jim wanted his pretzel thins. He really loves the Parmesan or the garlic. Um, he likes to dip these. He has hummus, and I was like, he keeps going, is this hummus good? Because it turned over in the bag when we got it delivered. And I was like, it's fine. It's not even like for two months, it doesn't expire. And it just, but it looks like cracked and dried because it got turned over. So I'm like, what do you want to eat the hummus with? And he's like, pretzel tins. And I was like, okay. They had these and they had everything bagel seasoning, but he wanted these to have with the hummus because the hummus is already garlicky. So he also asked for some cereal bars. These are the, the repeat purchase for him. They're sort of like the knockoff Nutri-Grains. These are fruit and grain apple cinnamon bars. Sometimes when he's, if they call him into work early and he only has like a minute, or if he knows he has to work a long shift, he'll throw one in his pocket or his pouch thingy and just have one to snack on during the day. Um, he also sometimes has them as dessert, like when he just wants something sweet after dinner if we don't have any cake or anything. Um, he also wanted some chewy granola bars. What'd you say? Banana bread. Yeah, we're gonna make banana bread. That's what the bananas are for. It's, it's it's probably not going to be till after we get the groceries tonight, though. Is that all right? Yeah. Because we have the honey coming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. This is Millville's. That's Millville, too. Um, this is Millville's Chewy Granola Bar. It's a variety pack. I was like, hey, you want to try the variety pack? He likes Chewy Granola Bars, again, as like a sweet treat snack, but he, like, leaning more towards the healthier side of sweet treat snacks. This comes with four chocolate chips, two oatmeal raisin, two s'mores, and two peanut butter chocolate chip. Which I said to him, I was like, ooh, you know, does that sound good? And he goes, yeah, everything but the peanut butter chocolate chip. I'm like, your favorite candy is Reese's peanut butter cups. Why do you not like peanut butter chocolate? I just was confused. But I fully stocked on my bars. Now, these aren't cheap, but most keto bars are cheap. Um, so these are the Elevation... They each come with five bars in them, and there are different prices for some strange reason. They were all different prices today. Um, they all say carb conscious on the top, and they tell you here, like, how many net carbs. Uh, let's see. This one is two net carbs per, uh, two net carb guide. Two grams net carb guide. And then it has, like, a little thing per serving. And a serving is one bar. Um, one bar is 150 calories, seven grams of fat. 17 grams of carbohydrates, which includes five grams of fiber and 10 grams of sugar alcohol. Now, not everybody is as receptive to sugar alcohol. You definitely have to do your own research on your own body, okay? If you have a ketone meter or a glucometer, if you're a diabetic, eat one of these, wait your, what is it, two hours, 30 minutes, 30 minutes and then two hours to check and see if sugar alcohols, different sugar alcohols, how they affect your blood sugar. These do not affect my blood sugar negatively at all. Um, this is peanut butter fudge crisp. This one is coconut, chocolate coconut, which to me, this reminds me of like an Almond Joy, but like a Mounds, like no almonds. Um, I could eat them with almonds. I do have whole almonds. I could throw some whole almonds on there. That would be actually good. Let me take that. But anyway, um, I got those. This is, I'm gonna save that one for last. <laughs> Caramel nut. These are, um, nut. <laughs> I think they're all two net carbs. I forgot to tell you that as we went along. I believe they're all two net carbs, yeah. Um, this is caramel nut, but basically it is a bar that has like, um, like a nut butter down here and then caramel and then covered in chocolate. But this one's my favorite because I'm, if I had to pick one single candy bar to eat the rest of my life, it would be a Snickers. And this is caramel chocolate peanut nougat. And it basically has the nougat down here with peanuts in it, caramel and chocolate on top. And that reminds me of a Snickers a lot. So I got four of these. I got 20 bars. If you're interested, sometimes, just like Jim, sometimes this will be breakfast with maybe a protein shake. They're not meal replacements. You know, they, they could be. It says light meal. So it says advanced snack or light meal bar. So they could be meal if you're on like weight loss and, and, and weight, you know, calorie reduction. But for me, like one of these after a protein shake for breakfast, just so I get my chew in or, you know, especially these ones for dessert as a dessert, like a light snack. And I don't mean dessert. Like I don't eat dinner and then eat dessert right away. Usually I wait like an hour or so, um, which I love. So that my friends is absolutely everything from Aldi. 
Um, again, thank you, Instant Card. Thank you, Margaret. This is not a sponsored vlog, but I do have a referral code down below that will give me $10 and take $10 off your first order for Instacart if you're interested. And again, I find it worth it because um, Instacart doesn't just do Aldi. They do certain grocery stores in your area. Here they do Aldi, Big Lots, Kroger, Staples. Um, and that's because I live in kind of a small city. So that's what they deliver from here. But when I was at Aunt Sue's house, the list was endless. It was like all the grocery stores and Aldi. And um, so um, look in your area if you're interested. I think it's totally worth it. Some of the prices do vary from the in-store, especially at Aldi because their prices fluctuate often. Um, not every day, but like often enough, like they go up and down with like the market. Um, so definitely, you know, it's a maybe a little extra and you do tip the person. So it does end up costing you a little bit extra, but if you have limited mobility or if you're wanting to stay safe still at this time where it's still getting better, but not there yet, um, this is definitely the, my favorite way to go. Um, that's it. So if you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. I'm going to try to film the receipt at the end so that maybe you guys could see how much everything was I know with my eyesight I used to put the prices um, down here <laughs> um, and I just haven't done that in a really long time because of my vision so if the receipt does have the final prices on it I will go ahead and add it at the end of this video and if you don't see it then it didn't and I'm sorry um, but all of this totaled was about a hundred and sixty dollars around 162 maybe um, but I could definitely put the total at the end. Um, just putting the prices for each item has just been, it's a little bit more difficult. So ah, thank you so much. I love you guys. And as always, you take care. Excuse me. <laughs> take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye. And uh, Shlanta, because it's St. Patrick's Day. Bye. So if you can see here at the end, the total for the groceries was $155. That was before tax, the service fee, and the tip, okay?